Hey everyone, I'm here in my little office in Montreal, the capital city of Canada. One month ago, I made a video about why I thought people were leaving Canada. The title was actually, Why Are People Leaving Canada? I don't know if you've watched it or not, so I'm going to link to it up here and in the description and at the end of this video. I thought I'd take a quick moment to talk about it because it's kind of exploding with views and comments, which is great for me. As a content creator, it's my goal to create videos that get watched and engaged from viewers. For those of you who aren't interested, let me share a couple short clips from the opening. Okay, hey everybody. So. I'm here in the capital city of Canada, Toronto, because something crazy has been happening in the last couple of years. In the capital city of Canada, Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Let me give you a bit of a backstory. I've been creating videos for a long time now. I have two channels of my own and I've created videos as a professional content creator for a few different industries. Earlier this year, I was having a conversation with another creator and we were chatting about what it's like to be a YouTuber. And a part of that conversation was about some of the hate we receive, especially in the comment sections of videos. She told me she had a little fun with one of her videos. She talked about a type of bread in Mexico and in her video, she started by showing the wrong type of bread on purpose. Then at the end of the video, she showed the real type of bread and explained that she did it on purpose. I know some of you might be thinking or feeling that this kind of takes advantage of a viewer. And I'm gonna say, no, it doesn't. I'm a viewer too. I watch other people's videos. Nobody forces me to watch a video and nobody forces me to leave a comment. This is 100% my choice. And if I watch a video or leave a comment, then I'm responsible for how I engage in a public forum. Anyhow, I get a lot of comments from people that are friendly and supportive from a lot of people who, if I wasn't making a connection through YouTube, I would probably think that these people are decent and I might actually like to meet some of them in person. But it is YouTube and YouTube is not the right way to meet people. My point right now is that there are a lot of nice people leaving some really nice comments. The thing is, there are also a lot of nasty or ignorant people who leave horrible comments. Sometimes the comments are incredibly vicious and I tend to remove those, report them, mark them as spam, or block the user. Now, as a content creator, this is a topic that comes up all the time. I mean, pretty much Anytime someone asks me about making videos, one of the questions they'll have for me is what it's like dealing with negative comments. So anyhow, I decided to have a little fun with it myself and with this last video I made and see how many comments I'd get from people about me saying Toronto was the capital. Immediately after saying that I was in Toronto, the capital city, my next clip was this. And there's at least one point that I really want you to hear, so be sure to keep watching to the end of the video. And if you watch to the end of the video, or even just skip to the end of the video, you'd also see this bit. Thank you for watching the end of the video, and now I have to admit, I said something that is not true at all. At the beginning of this video, I said that I was in the capital city of Toronto. No, Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. So, did I set people up? In a way, I guess I did. But the thing is, I gave clear direction in the video to make sure you watch to the end. But there was more. I felt a bit bad about tricking people, so I also added in the description of the video this information. I also made this video because as a video content creator, I get a lot of silly comments left on my videos. Sometimes I wonder if people even watch the video at all. Some comments seem to misinterpret what I've said. Some argue what I say. Some are just plain and simple nasty. I also wrote at the start of this video, I say I'm in Toronto, the capital of Canada, but then proceed to film the rest of the video in Ottawa, the real capital of Canada. At 10 seconds in, I tell everyone to watch to the end of the video. Then at 14 minutes, I tell everyone that I was just joking, that I know the capital of Canada is Ottawa, but was more or less just having a bit of fun. So I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but I'll say, remember when you were a kid, 
at school and given a test. And the teacher said, make sure you read the entire test before beginning. And at the end of the test, it said, you didn't need to do the test. So I gave instructions at the start of this video. I explained what I had done at the end of the video. I also wrote an explanation to help viewers out. Despite doing what I could to help viewers out, I still received a ton of comments correcting me, or worse. In fact, all these things flashing up on the screen as you've been watching are some of the, at the moment, over 150 comments that I've received. And you know, I mean what I wrote in the description of my video. I also wrote, YouTube is a great platform that allows everyone to be able to leave a comment. Comments can be turned off of videos, but I like to give people the ability to use their freedom of communication, expecting that people will use common sense and use that freedom responsibly. I do also think it's fair that video content creators challenge their audience a little, like I have. If people are going to voice their opinion and leave a comment with their name or at least username attached to it, then they should at least be responsible enough to watch the full video that they're commenting on. There's one last point that I'd like to make. YouTube is not a reliable source of information, although you can find some reliable videos here. YouTube is largely entertainment. It is content created by people like you and me who are sharing stories to entertain viewers for brief moments in their life. My channel is actually categorized as entertainment. And for years, I've had a disclaimer in the description of my videos. And this disclaimer says this, the opinions shared in this video are mine as a form of entertainment and to document what I'm doing in my life. You really shouldn't take the advice from some guy on YouTube including me. If I create content and you find it when doing some sort of research, always do backup research and go to a more reliable source. I'm just a guy with a camera making videos. So for the most part, my videos are actually truthful, but that truth is always my opinion and my point of view. The stories that I tell are edited. You know, as a content creator, I try to be responsible with the content that I share. And I know that I'm not going to change the world with this last video or this one. There will always be people who feel entitled to voice their opinion without knowing what they're talking about. I think a lot of us really do know better. And I guess I'll encourage people to slow down. Think before you punch out a comment on a keyboard. And one last thing, if you noticed, I did it again. I started this video by saying I was in Montreal, the capital city of Canada. I can't resist. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. And I'm actually not in Montreal. I'm sitting in my office in central Mexico. I wonder if anyone will correct me. Anyway, be careful and thanks for watching.